Hello, welcome to the Podcast. Podcast. Today we will talk about the importance of technical English. We will interview students from different specialities that we have here in our high school. And also, we will have the participation of some teachers from the English department. Okay, so can you introduce yourself, please? I'm Jimena Cortez, I'm 16 years old, and I study English language. I am Paul Aria, I am 17 years old, and I study in accountancy. My name is Felipe Bianchi, I'm 17 years old, and I study architectural drawing. My name is Daniel Netzler, I'm 17 years old, and I'm studying software development. Okay, we also have two teachers here, teacher Gabriel and teacher Ruben. Welcome teachers! Welcome everybody! Well, I'm just really honored to be here to talk about the importance of learning English and the importance of taking up English, right? In the labor and market. Yeah, thank you for that invitation for this conversation. And I hope that we can actually explore it. But learning English will use that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 school in order to learn English. Um, so tell me, what do you normally do and see in your technical English lessons? Well, I normally, uh, well, uh, these past few months we have learned, uh, well, we have been later learning about uh, how to introduce ourselves in a job interview, how to answer the questions and how to make the questions and well, that's what we have been seeing the past few months, I think one or two months. Well, in my case, we have seen like work environment, work uh, cultural work ethics and how it's working in all the places around the world. Okay, we usually see a good environment between us and our classmates. And the things that we studied are always different and it's always changing. We don't do like the same things every day. Every day is like a new adventure. I, I think my English classes are more oriented to the financial part, not to the English part, in my case. In my case, it's, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's okay. In my case, well, with Teacher Gabriel, we always make like presentations, long presentations. You don't have like a time, you don't have like, you have five minutes and you end the presentation. No, you have like all the time that you want, you make the presentation, you talk with your friends, you talk with your, with your teacher and well, that's, it's a really good class. Exactly. Well, actually, the idea in this in this class this is enhancing communication, right? Mm -hmm. So interacting with other people. Yeah. Sometimes, well, we start. We know we know the time that you have for presenting something, but we we don't know what time we finish, right? Because the idea is talking, practice, right? That is the idea. And I think that that gives you more confidence when you talk to others. Exactly. I agree. Actually, that's one of the most important things when you learn language, right? You don't have confidence enough. You're going to restrain yourself from speaking the language, but if you're confident, so actually you're going to look for all the opportunities in order to speak, which is what actually is going to make you develop skills. And it's exactly. going to improve you in the future and going to help you well, in everything you're going to do. I don't know, well, obviously it's a process, so you have to practice every day in order to, well, to be better, right? So that's what you need because it's not really a skill. And we learn like auxiliaries for, for learning yourself, don't worry. Remember, this is a technical school, right? Yeah. Yes. And the the main reason why you're here is that at the end of the course, you're going to be working, or at least you're going to have a chance to go and you know try your luck. Um, I think the teachers do the best work in preparing themselves to the future and what we're going to do in a company yeah, right. or our job. Right. Yes. Actually, well, part of the classes, part of the syllabus, that well, we have different topics, different companies. Uh, for social license, right? Okay, so that English is oriented to social license, uh, so social license in, a, in a company, right? But also, well, we have to study some specific topics. Uh, and that is what we call the English for specific purposes, right? right? And you need to learn about some topics that are properly uh, used in your um, example, in your question. For example, some students must learn about CCNA, right? That is a uh, system certification. Mm -hmm. Other people that must know about some tips about customer service, or in your case, about the financial part, right? Mm -hmm. So that is based on what we do in the class. Okay, um, the next question is, do you think all of this will be useful when you go to work one day? So, yes. In uh, almost every world, you need English. 
You need a good English level. Alice, 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 Alice. I think that it's important because we learn a different things. We learn English, how to speak English, and how to do letters, formal letters. Yeah, in English, I think English is a better. Uh, it's a good way to to communicate with other people you know, around the world. So that could be good if you want to look for a job in another country. It can give you a lot of opportunities in companies like Amazon or multinational companies that is probably going to do better for your future because you're going to earn more, you're going to learn more, and you're going to do better in life and you can earn success. Yeah. In my case, uh, in architectural drawing, we use every program in English. A lot of my classmates, uh, the first time they struggled a lot because they didn't know what a uh, wall was or what a glass is and they have been improved well, improving a lot in, in that in that area. So, yeah, it helps a lot. And in our case, that we're going like a few months to work. I, well, I have a line, and they make us make like four tests, five tests of English. And I think it's it's really important now, and I think it's going to be important ever. Okay. You know that business world nowadays is all about communication, right? Your communication skills are good, companies are going to pay more attention to you, they're going to give you more opportunities, you will have more opportunities in order to advance. And uh, Gabriel and me, sometimes we talk about work, so what we do, right? Uh, because English, you know, it's the lingua franca. Yeah, exactly. And uh, no, matter, no, no matter where you go, no matter what language is spoken in any country, you will find a person who speaks English. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And no matter the specialty, right? So, no specialty, you have to learn English, right? I know that, for example, some specialties are a higher level of English or are demanding a higher level of English, right? But no matter what you are starting, you have to learn and you have to improve it. You need to practice every day. Actually, when we got uh, the, the chance of talking to some uh, owners of different companies, okay, or for example, human resources managers, the first thing they tell us is, uh, what are the level of English of your students? Okay, so this is what people are asking for. It's a very needed tool nowadays. Yes. Exactly. And I think okay. the best thing is, well, the best you could do is be confident because it helps a lot. You can know all the words in English, but if you're not confident enough to talk, you're never going to prove. Exactly. Well, you teacher, well, we're not dictionaries, right? <laughs> Sometimes, well, we, there, there are maybe some words that we don't know, but well, we need to start, we need to investigate, right? Especially when they are in right? Something yes. helps a lot, it's seeing TV shows in English or hearing music yeah, exactly. in English, it helps a lot. Yeah, yeah. Just hearing the English language all day is going to improve you a lot. It's really yeah. important not being afraid to ask. Because some students are afraid to ask the teachers. They, they, prefer, really to ask. they prefer not to say anything because they feel like shame yeah, or they exactly. feel scared. But it's really important. Or maybe yeah. all the people can help them, right? Because it's for that, but there. Yeah, exactly. So we can make mistakes. We're in perfect people, right? Okay. Okay. Um, okay, next. Why do you think it's important to speak English in today's world? Because as a... Uh, <laughs> As uh, Mr. Gabriel said before, companies are asking to uh, people to uh, develop English. And not also companies, if you go to another country and you need to, like, I don't know, search for a restaurant or search for a grocery store, you need to be able to speak the language that is commonly known all around the world so yeah, that you communicate. Yeah, exactly. So, so we're talking about uh, the importance of technical English. Well, if you go for, you know, so the importance of learning English, you know, it's yeah, for you know. entertainment or, you know, for saving your life or saving other people's lives, you know, for traveling and what that? for having a, a boyfriend or girlfriend. You know, from <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? Okay. So it happens, but this is really important. Right? To be able to communicate with other people, it's it's I think exactly. that's, that's the idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. communicate with other people. Having the capacity to speak to everyone that you want to. Exactly. And in many different situations. Exactly. Definitely. Informal, informal, and formal, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you will need the English like to learn, learn the instructions about something that you buy because there is only like. Yeah. Uh, she said, "Is there sometimes, like in my case, that I'm looking for someone that I need to fix on my computer or etc. 
And then I searched it on Spanish and I can't find the solution. And I searched it on English and it is very easier to find the, the solution. And it's not just for studying, it's just for you, for you to know something else to, to help you mm -hmm. improve. That the cultural aspect. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. Okay. The next question is, what do you like more about your technical English lessons? Well, as I said, the lessons with Teacher Gabriel, yeah, yeah, they are really uh, out of the ordinary because you could stay there and present uh, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes presenting and talking with your classmates and your teacher and, and that helps a lot, that helps a lot. I think learning new ways of English, learning like vocabulary and all that is related to our technicalities is very interesting because what is going to help us in our specialities. And also that, like as I said before, we always do something different. Sometimes we're reading something, sometimes we're listening to something, and like right now we are making like a book about English. So it's always something different. Yeah, exactly. And also, well, sir, continue. Continue. Also, that something we have to remark is that the teachers here are very good. They have very good English level, and the way they teach us is very like. Optimal and dynamic. Well, that's the idea. That's the idea. Yeah, that's the idea. And actually, well, sometimes when we talk to people from ninth level, right? Uh, um, when they have to make a decision about the special that they want to study, sometimes they say, "And what about the English? Okay, is it now? Is it difficult? You know, because sometimes people feel afraid. You know, afraid of English or feel scared about English, right?" But well, the idea of English classes is to have a very nice environment, you know, in which you can uh, feel confident uh, about what you are doing, and we need to understand that everybody, uh, well, every, uh, everybody can make a mistake, right? When we are learning English, right? Even teachers. So that we have make, you know, some mistakes, right? Because we're human beings, right? Yeah. But well, that's it. The importance learning in a very uh, nice environment. Yeah. Okay. Um. The last question, uh, do you think that your English level has improved? Yeah, because before the economic like, history, I didn't have the sentence, now I have it. I think that my confidence has improved, so that means that my English has improved. That happened to me too. I came from a bilingual school and I didn't have the confidence enough because in well in that school they give you like 300 words and and you should let, well like put the definition there and it didn't give you any confidence for you to talk. We have like three different types of English and it didn't give you the confidence that you need to talk and to to well you know be yourself talking in English. Well, I came from a bilingual high school and something that I can see here that they did not did there was like put you up to do presentations. That helps you a lot with like improving your English, improving your social skills and your talking skills and your speaking skills. And I think that is, that is the best part that they have here on the English class. And yeah, in my school they told us that when we were going to talk in English you should have like the sentence in Spanish in your head and then translate it and that's not that. That's not like the idea since I started thinking in English and in Spanish I have, I, well I think I have improved a lot in, in that aspect. Mm -hmm. So actually that's one of the most important things to try to do. First, to develop your confidence in a very nice environment, possibly, and then uh, to have you challenged, be challenged by different presentations and having to talk in front of people and make you know this kind of stuff that makes you, you know, start not only feeling more confident, but at the same time uh, actually experiencing the results of the process because you can actually see yourself and say, oh, I did that? <laughs> <laughs> right? Because you start yeah. like really nervous so, and then right. you start going yeah. on. Exactly. And, and that's the so, actually from the teacher point of view, we have seen the progress and the progress, uh, well, the progress and the progress of our students. Because I remember, for example, in, in, in my specialty, one, well, especially I was teaching at that moment, 
was exceptional for customer service. I got some students. I remember the first day in class. You know, I asked them for the money. Hey, what's your name? Okay, well, you know, they couldn't answer that. That's a very basic question, right? But it was kind of difficult for them to respond, you know, because, uh, well, they, they didn't practice uh, English in a normal way, right? But at the end of the, the, the high school, when they were in 12th level, well, they were speaking to right? So, so we, we have seen the progress, uh, the process on the progress of the students. Okay, uh, continue with the teacher questions. Oh my gosh. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Uh, teacher, I am curious. What is the dynamic in your class? I mean, can you tell us what do you students normally do in class? Okay, as, as, I, as I said before, the main purpose of the English classes or technical English is enhancing communication. Um, teach students some different abilities for communicating with other people, okay? Learning different abilities. Well, um, I think in the English classes, the technical uh, English classes, so we got some similar activities that we make, right? For example, uh, presentations, oral presentations, debates, some interviews, right? Sometimes we make some simulations about, for example, job interviews, for example, yeah. as I work with them, right? Uh, but basically, that is a student-centered class. That is basically what we do. So you are the, the ones who are going to, to do all the things in class, and we're going to be only facilitators, some mediators. You, you give us what we have to do, and you can do it. Also, exactly. help you in a, some way that you could say. Exactly, exactly. We plan, for example, the activities. Sometimes, well, we have to present, for example, the the, fit, uh, the input, right? For uh, starting with the, the activities, right? But you are the, the the ones, you know, who are going to do that because the idea is producing English, right? Yeah, the idea of every class is to give it a chance to actually use language, right? So that's why uh, we try not to be the center of the class, we try to make you the center of the class, and we do it through many different activities. Also, another important thing that we have here in the English class is that we try to have a class that is not only for learning, but also for communicating in general. So, once you enter, the English classroom, the idea is that you can express anything in English and feel the confidence that nobody's going to judge you if you make a mistake. Uh, so if you want to tell me about something that happened to you or you want to tell me a joke or if you want to talk about uh, La Liga's game yesterday, right? So you can Sorry. do it in English and nobody's going to say, oh, that's wrong. No. The idea is that you can start using the language, getting familiar and developing skills. Exactly. Yeah, I had the luck to, to be with both of you. Uh, I think I was with you with, uh, when I was in 10th grade and with I you last year. Yes. And yeah, you both gave us like the opportunity to express ourselves and you don't... Well, when we make a presentation, you don't ask us for, for a script. You gave us the chance to talk, to, to develop ourselves, to Natural, develop the yes. conversation exactly. and, to, yeah. and to give a good presentation. Yeah, actually that makes the class fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, yeah. Because some teachers, I'm not saying that you, some teachers, okay. what they do is just get into class and say to the students, oh, you need to do this page or you need to do oh, exactly. the questions in the board and that's it. They we'll don't talk speak anymore or they don't do anything more and it just gets very boring, but that's what you professors do better. Yeah, so, well, the idea is enhancing that, right? making a more interactive class. Okay, in a place that you're going to have for expressing yourself, or feel um, confident, right, about using English. And as I said before, no, uh, have no problem, right? And don't be afraid if you make a mistake, because that is normal, right? Yeah. The idea is expressing yourself. Actually, something I do when my students are working or are researching about something, I start talking about things that are not related to the topic, mm -hmm. and I start asking them about personal things or telling them personal yeah. things about myself in English. Yeah. So that way the class is, is, is in English, everything is yeah. in English, the communication is in English, but I'm not only being the teacher who is telling you what to do or um, how uh, to do yeah, class, it. Class. Yeah, that, that doesn't really regular, happen right? in, in normal in, in real life. Right? Communication, right? Yeah, it really happens so, sometimes in Spanish when we're talking to friends, we're talking about one topic and suddenly you don't know in what moment you change the topic and you are, but you're speaking, right? right. Exactly. And it happens in English, right? Well, something important is that, well, here in the institution we are nine English teachers and we all try to do the same thing. I mean, we all try at least to have classes that are interesting, uh, not boring, dynamic. 
So yeah, exactly. But, but also the point is, uh, well, that is from the um, academic point of view, right? But also uh, in, from the communicative point of view, we, we try to do that, right? But also we do something else, and Ruin, and Ruin is part of that also. We, we, we like to do that. Sometimes when we got some presentation, we invite other students from other groups, right? Mm -hmm. Because the idea is having a, an audience, right? And uh, sometimes uh, the non-verbal communication is completely important when you are presenting or you're using your English or even in Spanish, right? But we like to do that in our classes because you're, gonna, you're going to know how to control yourself, for example, when you have a presentation. And uh, well, I know that most of the time people get nervous. When they got uh, 15, 20 people in front of you and you have to make a presentation, you say, oh my gosh, what am I doing here, right? <laughs> okay, but it's normal and that is part of the process. The verbal communication, in this case, uh, the use of English, but the non-verbal communication, gestures, how to control yourself. And this is part of what we do in the English classes, the right? Yeah, and the class became like a conversation, and not like a class, it became a conversation. Exactly, because the point is speaking, right? Yeah. Yeah. Practicing, practicing, you know, creating, enhancing and motivating um, interaction, right? Right. I think I can speak for all when I say that your classes have become the most enjoyable, or not the most, but one of the most enjoyable classes here in the, in the class. Well, yeah. that's the idea. That's the idea, right? <laughs> Okay, um, what do you think is the importance of technical English is in today's labor market? Well, Rim, you want to say that? I can't start. Oh, I can't give you the chance. Right? Yeah. <laughs> now, I think that it is really important, not only for technical purposes, right? But for life purposes, exactly. right? Crazy. As we said before, English nowadays is the lingua franca and also it is language that it's spread all over the world so anywhere you go you will find something in English and sometimes sometimes when people learn English especially here in Costa Rica we do it because we have this professional purpose but we don't have to forget the personal purpose right how much I can learn not only of the language but also of the culture and how much I can exactly. open my eyes and my mind to what's in the world. So I think that's the main importance. It's not even a professional purpose, it's like a personal development purpose. Mm -hmm. Exactly, I totally agree with Ruin actually, right? But from the technical point of view, well, obviously companies need uh, te uh, technicians, uh, high, school, high school level technicians, you know, not only, uh, well, they, they must know, for example, your case, you must know about um, the, the topics related to your specialty, right? But also you need to speak English. That's basically what But you, you need to know English wine. Okay, in this case. But also, as Ren said, um, well, it is for life. It is for life, right? Okay, um, the next question is, so, can you tell us what is the difference between academic and technical English? Well, there are some differences. Well, are you talking about academic classes or academic high schools? Uh, academic classes. Academic classes. Classes, well. Well, we're going to start first of all with the, um, the amount of lessons, right? Because some specialties get much more um, lessons of English, right? Than in um, academic classes, right? For example, uh, from 7th to 9th, well, you have to take three lessons, right? Of academic classes in 10th level for lessons, right? And 11th uh, and 12th, uh, three lessons, right? For example, in executive or customer service, well, you have to take uh, eight hours. That is uh, about 12 lessons, right? So the level of uh, English is, is higher, right? Or the level of, um, or the amount of, of lessons, right? Well, um, also, um, well, the, the, the syllabus is has much more grammar, right? Much more grammar, for example, in, term, in terms of content. But, well, actually, the Ministry of Public Education in previous, previous years, they changed the program, right? The syllabus, and then tried to enhance um, um, uh, students uh, to uh, speak in, in academic classes, right? But, well, unfortunately, we know that sometimes it's very difficult, right? Because you got a lot of uh, classmates, for example, in, in, the, in the classroom, right? Um, and also the lessons are not enough for practicing, you know, uh, speaking, but also uh, for completing all the tasks that teachers sometimes are demanding to you, you know, for completing, right? So I think the chance that we have in technical uh, classes is that space or that uh, spot that you need for really practicing English in a normal way, right? As Ruben said before, the idea is 
to um, make the students speak naturally, right? Talking about an anecdote or talking about an uh, about whatever they want, telling an anecdote and telling a joke or whatever, okay? But the idea is enjoying that, okay? So even um, technical English is not so grammar-based. I think they're complementary. I mean, one complements each other, right? And yeah, in this academic English class, we'll have a more, a, a deeper focus on grammar, on reading, and then technical English is more oriented to the oral communication, right? And of course, uh, with the new program especially, it's more uh, specific, right? Because it's more specific to your specialty. Vocabulary, situations, putting you in different situations that will represent things that you actually can find and face in real life and you've got to work. So I think that's mainly the difference, but they both can be a complement to each other. And uh, if you really if you really take advantage of these two classes and you really like it, uh, they can help you really end up speaking English like you exactly. speak English and and we feel so proud because I see the process, I've seen the process in some view, a band teacher here of uh, Felipe, Joel, uh, Nicole, Emily, etc. right? And I've seen how you have improved and that's something that we really, really uh, cherish. Well, in my case, uh, well, okay, academical English has been like a little different because all we do is like practices and, and we don't have like too much time because I think this, as you said, this year we have like three lessons of English and those three lessons we we take a book and we, well, we do the tests. Test, yeah. test, test, and, 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 and that's, like, yeah. Technical English is more like interactive. Yeah, exactly. That's the idea. You could say that the technical English is not just an extra class on the schedule. It's like something that is made for you to help you improve English. Exactly. That's the point. As Ren said, it's, it's important, right? This is a compliment, actually, right? But in the technical area, well, there is, as I said before, English for specific purposes. You're going to learn about specific specific topics about your specialty, right? But you're going to have, you have, you have the chance of interacting, right? That is one of the main uh, things that I consider make the difference among these two uh, types of English, right? Or for example, academic and technical, right? Yes. And I have the, the experience, no? Okay. Okay. Um, anything? Final comment uh, you want to share with you today? Okay, do you wanna do you wanna have a comment? Do you have a comment? First of all, you and then teachers. We finish with that. Okay. Well, first of all, thank you for inviting us. And well, I I enjoyed this little time. It was like an hour and a half, but it was really good, and I I have a really good time. Yeah. Yeah. The reason that we have improved is thank you for the teachers yeah. and thank you for the Digos podcast for letting us be here. Brent, you have a comment? <laughs> yeah, well, first I want to congratulate you, right, the guys exactly. who make the podcast, the point. Professor Christian, because this kind of uh, activities are not only fun, but at the same time they teach you so much, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And also I want to say that, as I said before, for us, uh, the most important part of the whole process is to see mm -hmm the final result, result in you. Like, having this conversation all in English with you, and I know that you are just a sample of all students, your classmates, that are also in the same process and they are improving as well. So for us teachers and exactly. for all the other teachers of the institution, is 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 very, very uh, pleasant and very nice. Exactly. I really feel uh, happy and we feel like what we do, we go, right? what we do really uh, is working and, really works. and you say it's thanks to us but in reality I think the opposite, I think it's thanks to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you. No, exactly. Well, I just want to make a final comment, okay, my final comment. Well, Ren said many things, you know, I just wanted to compliment that. that. 
Well, uh, first of all, congratulations, guys, because uh, the, this time that you, you are here, well, it's important for us as teachers, because uh, we have seen that you have improved, and well, uh, we, we believe that English classes work right in this case. And also, well, we really want to, um, to thank uh, Digalis for this space, you know, for talking about the importance of technical English, so this is our subject. Um, now, well, we, we really want to invite you to motivate your uh, classmates and tell them that we can do it if you really want to do it, okay? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And... And... Digalis!